Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Uh, right, a little painting update for you on the Man of War uh, Monsters of the Sea that I've got uh, here. So I'm painting these little creatures up uh, for my buddy for his Man of War game. Um, he's not after anything special regarding the paint uh, job, you know, just something basic, just so that they're basically coloured, um, ready so we can play them. So I'm just about to show you what um, I did. Now, I have to say, I've had an awful lot of fun painting these guys up. And I haven't finished, I've still got some work to do, but I'm certainly getting there. Let me just adjust the camera slightly. So, starting off with this one. Uh, this this creature, uh, which is a sea elemental, um, I sort of worked out that, because I wasn't quite sure in the first video, uh, but I've worked out that basically this is like a, a creature that's coming out of the water and it almost is like a, like a wave uh, coming out of the water. You can see on the back here he's got these like almost waves on his back. So I decided to um, paint him like the picture in the, in the um, that I just showed you at the beginning. To be fair, I painted most of these like that, not all of them. Um, so what I did, I went in with a regal blue um, base. I then uh, dry brushed it up with a couple of lighter blues going up to white. Um, I then gave it a wash with Ushiman blue. Um, and then I gave it some final little, um, highlight dry brushes of white just um, just to finish it off really. I'm pretty much done on this guy. I've got to do the C level at the bottom. Now my buddy does have um, a quite a, a light blue C so I'm going to, going to paint it light blue. I may try to bring that into the bottom of the miniature there and just so that it looks like he's coming out of the water and then Obviously, when he's out the water, he's this like darker blue. I'll see. I'm not quite sure. As I said, I've still got to do some work. So um, that's that guy. Uh, next is this one, uh, the gargantuan. So I basically again almost tried to paint it like um, the picture um, on this one. I started off doing the skin, uh, so the scales at the top. Um, I did warpstone um, base. I then dry brushed that white. Uh, the bottom was done with um, yellow. I did a yellow base and then I dry brushed that white. And again, just quite a light uh, dry brush just to bring up the scales on the edges. Uh, I then washed the green with Bowtan Green and then I washed the yellow um, with a sepia wash um, and then I washed it with a orange wash just to give me that um, like a, a yellowy red finish to the underbelly. Now I still obviously have to paint his teeth and his tongue and his eyes but um, things looking pretty cool. I'm quite happy with him. Um, and like I said, I'm not doing anything too special here, which is why I'm doing this sort of um, like uh, base wash um, highlight type. Sorry, get that right. That's why I'm doing uh, the base, the dry brush, and then the uh, wash. It almost gives you like instant shadows and instant highlights without too much work. You know, I don't have to go in and individually like, highlight the scales. You know, that one little dry brush. Um, has highlighted all of those scales in one go. Um, yeah, it's not the greatest job in the world, but it's um, you know it does for for what we need it to do anyway. Uh, so next, I'm going to show you the Kraken, the little octopus. So I've decided to go two tone with this one. Um, still got a, again more work to do on this one. Um, so far, um, I've went in with the whole model and I did two layers. Um, of an orange wash and when that was dry um, I went in which is what I've recently done and you can probably can still see it's still a little bit wet on those tentacles there um, but I went in with a red wash over the top on his um, like the carapace section on his mouth and on the inside of those tentacles um, so I still need to do a little dry brush and then some more washes just to uh, give it a little bit more of a, a highlight pop probably paint the eyes as well um, so it's coming on quite nicely. Again, I've got to do the blue around the edge of the base just to indicate the sort of the water side of it. So that's him. Uh, next up is the shark, uh, Magalodon, I think it's called. Okay, so the shark there, um, pretty basic. Let me just turn the light down. It seems to be washing it out on that one. 
hopefully that helps. So on this one, what I did, I went in with um, Administratum Grey um, all over. I then did a little light dry brush of white um, and then I went in with some uh, black wash and just washed just in the recesses, not a heavy wash, quite quite thin, just in the little sections there. Um, of course I've got a black in his eyes, although I have gone in the, like the sockets of the eyes with the wash. Uh, so yeah, I've got a black in the eyes, paint his mouth and his teeth um, and do obviously the water line, but um, yeah, he's looking pretty cool. So that's the shark. And then lastly is the crab. Now it's probably fair to say that uh, this is probably the one which I didn't actually paint like the piece of paper. Let me just get this piece of paper out. Now he is totally different and the reason for that um, was because I just felt that this guy, this guy and this guy's belly was all very similar and what I wanted is when I had like all of the unit, all of the, it's not a unit, but all of the creatures together, they, they all looked individual and different. So that's why I decided to go for something different for the crab. Uh, so I started off washing it with red um, and then I uh, did two washes of red and then I made up my own mix with um, uh, now what was it? Screamer pink and black. And I made this like a uh, purpley, black purpley colour, which I've obviously put on the, the claws and on his carapace there, on his eyes and this little front section. Um, he's pretty much done actually. What I do plan to do is just go over the second claw um, with a couple more red washes just to deepen it um, and then I'll have like this fleshy colour will probably be the same as I've got it there so he's coming on quite nicely and I'm really happy how he looks actually he looked pretty cool and if I just get these together this guy and this guy you can see that um, they all do actually look pretty different when they're in that little group. Now the closest I've got is his underbelly and this guy, but this has definitely got more of a yellowy tinge to it than, than this guy's like a reddy orangey tinge. So um, I think they all look different enough and on the table. So yeah, I'm very happy with them. Uh, really hope you like the progress. Um, I shall show you, well, they'll be finished basically in the next video. So the next video will be a showcase video of these guys. Okay, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.